All right, let's talk about setting up multiple cameras inside of OBS uh, to show multiple things that are going on. As you know, in professional broadcasting, you, you have a close-up cam, you have that wide-angle shot, you can switch back and forth between. Well, I don't usually do a lot of that, but what I absolutely do on a regular basis is I have a camera on me, and sometimes I want to bring in a camera of what I'm doing with my hands, such as working with my uh, graphics tablet, my Wacom tablet. Mm -hmm. So I want people to be able to not only see what's going on, on in my computer screen, but also see me making the gestures, whether it's drawing on a tablet or uh, working with my Wacom tablet at the same time. So in order to do that, I usually have two cameras set up so I don't have to keep moving my main camera up and down. Now, um, in this case, I'm going to use what I've been using as my external camera, because it is external, I can move it around more freely. Uh, in this case, as my, um, hand, I'm gonna call it my hands cam, and I'm gonna use the one that's built into my MacBook Pro as my, what I'm gonna refer to now as my selfie cam. Now they can be two external cameras, I do it all the time, but the main thing that makes it a little easier, uh, cause some systems can't recognize two cameras that are exactly the same make and model. So I normally have two different Logitech models and that usually works out fine. So for example, I'll, I'll use a C922 on me and maybe a C930 as the hands cam or an older C920 as the hands cam. As long as they're different, the system sees two different cameras and it's okay. If they're the same, it may think the camera's already plugged in, already in use, and it doesn't ever see the second camera because it's the same exact kind of camera. It depends on your operating system, Depends on the drivers and everything else. But two, two different models usually works out great. All right, so since these are two different cameras, this should work out fine. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna rename this camera as the hands cam, because this is the one we're gonna point down at my hands. So I'm just gonna right click on this, I'm gonna go rename, and we're gonna, instead of making it the C930E, we'll just call it hands cam, and that's the one we'll know is gonna be pointing at my hands. Now I need to bring in another source uh, for me. Um, so in this case, I'm going to add a new source and before I add that source, let me think about this. Do I want that in a new scene? Um, yeah, let's, let's add it first then we'll create the scene using the cameras we want. So let's go ahead and add it as a new, um, video capture device. And we're going to call this one selfie cam and we'll click okay. And of course it's going to ask me, well, okay, what's the selfie cam? The selfie cam, I'm already using the Logitech, so I need to use a different one, is gonna be the FaceTime camera on my MacBook Pro. So there it is. I can also dictate what size it comes in. I don't really need it to be using up that much bandwidth or horsepower. So we can bring that in, let's say nice and small down to 640. Even smaller yet, 320 by 240. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we can bring it down there, we can still scale it down. Okay, so now I've got the two cameras the selfie cam and the hands cam. And I'll bring the hands cam down. I'll resize the selfie cam, move it over. That size down about right. Okay, we'll put those there. Okay, so now I've got two cameras pointing at me. And of course, the main thing is we want the new uh, hands cam, which was the former 930E 2.0 down at what I'm doing here. So this would be where I would normally be working with my graphics tablet and I'd have my stylus here and I'd be working and of course talking to my audience as I'm looking at my audience and talking while I'm working on the camera. Um, so I don't always need the hands cam though because I'm not always doing something with a tablet. So that's where another scene comes in. I don't want to have to build all this over from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a new scene by duplicating the one that we already have that has everything in it we need. We'll duplicate that new scene and we'll call that new scene uh, me and uh, the hands cam. All right, we'll call it that. Call it whatever you want, but you get the idea. All right, so the me and the hands cam has everything. And then we'll go back to me and my app and we'll turn off the hands cam because we don't need that one normally. So that way I get one that has the hands cam and one that takes it away. And of course we have the ad from before. Now these can be moved up and up and down in order. So put them in the order you're most likely to use them. I'm most likely to use these two first 
and then switch to an ad from here to here. And of course, when you're in studio mode, you can go in and um, switch um, sources this way. And then when you're ready, just hit transition and it'll transition back and forth. So that way you don't have to keep selecting them in the, uh, in the scenes menu. You just toggle back and forth just by hitting one button or one keyboard shortcut as needed. All right, now there's one thing I talked about in the previous video, but I never showed it. I talked about like setting one of your cameras up to be a green screen. Uh, so let's, let's take a look at how that process would work. So let's say we go to me and my app. And right now, you see behind, actually, yeah, we'll do it on now. You see behind me is, you know, my office. And of course, um, it might look better if, if all of this stuff around my head wasn't there. So the way we would knock that out is with, I have one here, I don't have it set up, but a traditional green screen. This is just a, it's the right color green. It's that nice, bright green color. They, they sell these as chroma key or green screens. And I would normally just put this up behind me, uh, which I have in my other studio, my live streaming studio, already set up at all times. And um, the only thing we need to do now is how do we tell OBS to knock out anything that's that color? So the way we do it is on whichever camera you want. So in this case, it would be the selfie cam. Right click on it. Go to filters because chroma key in OBS is a filter. So we go to filters. We add an effects filter. And there's an effect filter called chroma key. And we just add the chroma key filter and then you get the properties for the chroma key filter and it is already set to green. So now I'll just close it. Um, I don't have to, you know, I can adjust it after I get my actual green screen and lighting set up. But now it knows to knock out whatever's in green becomes Photoshop. So as I move that around, instead of it being um gray it's actually the green screen so you're seeing the gray from photoshop behind me as opposed to um uh, the green color so for example if i were to move my camera over this image to make a better demonstration now when i put this up you see the image because it's <laughs> no not me you see the uh green screen doing its job keying out the whatever's um green in this particular case so that what that's that automatically everything that's green automatically becomes transparent and let's see which way do i want to swing this that way and you get the idea if i were to have this um, behind me that would work out great with the right lighting of course so um that is how to set up multiple cameras in obs and scenes and transition between them and even to take it up one more notch by having a green screen. Now, you could even duplicate the camera so that, or put the camera, um, yeah, duplicate the camera, add a second source that's really the same camera and have that one have a filter that's green screen. So when you're on a green screen, you see the transparency or you could have um, the other camera not have the green screen filter and that way it would just look normal it wouldn't be trying to knock out anything that's green so hope you learned something from that take care thanks for watching we'll catch you on the next one